Thanks for taking a moment to talk to us about this new initiative. So, why is Unilever getting involved with all this? If they've already sold the product, why are they concerned about what consumers are doing? There's a couple of things going on here. One, of, one thing is Unilever's commitment towards its sustainable living plan, which, which means they need to look at all elements of the product life cycle, not just from when they've sold it, but everything right through to disposal. And what they found through their own work is that approximately two thirds, almost 70% um, of the footprint that's created by the products is after, it, after the consumer's bought it. So they're quite interested in getting involved in that part of the product lifestyle, uh, life, life stage rather, once the consumer's actually bought it. Great. So what sort of areas of sustainability will you be, be testing people with? At the moment, there's a specific focus on two challenges for the next two months. So in November, they're looking particularly uh, at food waste, and particularly in November, that the element of food bill. So one of the targets that we're going to be giving the families to uh, look at is to be able to reduce their food bills by around 15%. Then in December, the second area is household rubbish, and obviously within that food waste, and we're asking the families to reduce their their, their waste in, in December by about 25%. After that, there'll be three challenges given to them in the new year, but we haven't yet decided what they're going to be. Probably other parts of the household, other parts of the sort of sustainability footprint that, that happens in the household. Great. So, I mean, the one thing is people are stressed, they're busy. I mean, what do you think is the real scope for seeing uh, more sustainable behaviour? It's a very good question. And to be honest, that's, that's partly what the research is about. Um, I think two things we're, we're really looking at to um, demystify, I guess, during the, the process. One is um, a research finding that around 70% of consumers in the UK, 68% I think is a precise figure, um, feel that living sustainably is more expensive. And, and clearly if you're not wasting food, that's less expensive. So there's a fairly simple thing that we're trying to outline for consumers there. But the second thing that's holding consumers back from living a more sustainable lifestyle, we find, is a lack of understanding of what they can do or need to do to live a more sustainable lifestyle. And some of that is taking fairly small steps in their everyday lives. And we've seen consumers taking some of those steps a little bit more seriously in areas like water usage and energy usage. And we're hoping, and I think Unilever is hoping through this, that maybe we can extend that to other areas of the household, like household waste, food bills, food waste, that kind of thing. So we'll see during the course of the project and, and we're hoping to look at um, if we can put the right advice in consumers' hands and the right information in consumers' hands, will that act as a, a better trigger um, to them actually living a, a more sustainable life by taking some of these small steps? Great. Well, thanks for your time and we'll definitely uh, stay tuned to see what happens.